Yeah, I want to go over uh, quick and dirty how you can actually join a couple wires together very solidly. First off, say you got a strip of wires of the insulation. I have found that um, these uh, serrated edge, this is actually just a little $5 Winchester knife from Wally Wally World. I use it quite often because it is serrated edge. It does a very good job of stripping off the insulation and the wires. And what I do is, you notice how I have a group frayed here and a group frayed there. What you do is you take one group, you split in half, right? You take one group and you twist them together. Now, you could say this is Mickey Mouse, and I have been. You could put solder over them with flux and all that garbage, too. And you don't just twist them together with just one group. You do one group, then, you know, after they're all opened up, and you do the second half, the two halves, and then, I knew this from years ago. I forgot to pass it on because I've been using this method. <laughs> and then you take the two pigtails, and then you wrap them together like that. And then you fold them over, right? That actually is a very, very secure connection. Now, um, I use um, Gorilla Tape, and I just use the, so it's one, two, three. And this, this repair is very, very solid. Now, if you put a little um, solder on there, like you melt, you put some flux on there and you melted some solder in it, hang it up and it's definitely not going nowhere but you really don't need to do that most people take two ends and they just twist them together you want to split them like that two pigtails and then two pigtails like that twist all these strands together twist all these strands together and then when you have just two strands grouped together then just wrap those around then the monster the, I always call it the monster tape gorilla tape when you wrap this, this stuff is so freaking strong, man, and it's so waterproof. I tell you the truth, I think it's better than heat shrink too. When you tell you the truth, I don't. It doesn't go anywhere. This this wire is solid as all hell, and it'll it'll handle it'll handle the elements. So like if you have, um, you know, if you're splicing in a tail light on a car or boat trailer or something like that or whatever the hell it is. This method will work. If you add a little solder to this, forget about it, man. Now, of course, if you use heat shrink tubing, but I'm not even convinced that heat shrink tubing is stronger than this Gorilla Tape. This Gorilla Tape is some pretty freaking strong stuff. So anyway, that's how you do it, and uh, that's a quick and dirty. And I've repaired um, extension cables like this when you're not supposed to, but this tape is uh, better than electrical tape by far. And uh, the time it takes, it, you know, you just see how long it took me to do that, right? A minute. That's, that's what it takes. Literally a minute to fix it. So um, if you add the solder, then you're, <laughs> you're involved maybe 10, 15 minutes or something. But this will hold together for... Don't hold your breath waiting for it to freaking fall apart. It, it'll probably be like good for 10 years. So even out in the weather. 